وکبر ہو تکبیرا سو گلوریفائی ہم الون ہی از دی کنگ وکبر ہو تکبیرا یو آٹ ٹو گلوریفائی ہم نو بڑی ڈیزرو ٹو بی گلوریفائیڈ ایکسپٹ اللہ دا ٹرو کنگ چیپٹر سیونٹین ورس ٹرپل ون دا ٹاپک از دا کرنٹ سچویشن دا ایڈوانسمنٹ ہیپننگ ریگارڈنگ رشیا اینڈ یوکرین and all those forecasting or predictions of world war 3 i would like to share my opinionated ideas and i don't want anyone to endorse it but this is not right to conceal the things the grounds reality the things which are coming like the future events cast their shadow before It is not right to keep your eyes evaded or away from the realities. Unfortunately, the time we are living in is not very predictable. It's all these things, unprecedented situation, the dangerous ideologies, the conquering of powers, superseding of ideologies civilizations we are facing before we face this corona virus now we have more other bigger stuff to deal i have a plea or an urge to share my ideas my feelings my emotions my excitement to my viewers and listeners that why I am excited you see today when we open television now especially the western media what they are worrying about even the small firework is there Russia is attacking Ukraine Russia invaded Ukraine Russia invaded Ukraine invasion of Russia all things they are creating like a mountain why because the interest behind all these things united states the united states of america they have the interest about all these things now what is all about why i'm sharing this where was the media when Ukrainian soldiers brutally killed in Chechnya and Chechnyan Muslims where was the media then where was the media when little children were being killed in Pakistan especially in the northern areas by the drones of United States of America where was the media then in Iraq <clears throat> with the pretext of going into that because they have weapons of mass destruction and now Tony Blair and Bush they said openly in the television that we were mistaken and we apologize for that but we didn't do Iraq how easy way out what about those women who were being raped ravished by american soldiers the documentaries out there youtube you can search those videos how they entered into the residential areas and to the civilians homes and rape their women in front of their husbands how can you get rid of that how you do whatever you want to do it's okay but when we do it's not right something fishy you can't run with the hare and hunting with the hounds you are doing something fast and loose towards the muslims so this is exactly what vladimir putin said what justification you have when you invaded iraq 800 naval bases you have all around the world why Why do you have what gives you some special permission to rule the rest of the world 
enough is enough this is what he said this is what his his excitement i'm sharing with you so he said that who gave you right to have 800 bases around the world in each of the country you put the bases you made the map of middle east upside down you shake it you shook it so badly and you are saying that we are sorry tony blair said on the video we are sorry for what we did in iraq sorry you disturbed the the generation of those people you said sorry afghanistan in your videos you said that oh we finished taliban we finished this we finished that we won we won because of your elections and all this presidential campaigns they are in the government now right now in afghanistan is a big slap on your faces you see that is why americans the western people should understand why these all things happening you see the wearer knows where the shoe pinches you cannot blame all the time people now where is france where is macron the blasphemer of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was who was saying before that islam is the threat islam has a problem now where what's happening now is russia an islamic nation why is he so quiet is he afraid is he a coward what happened to him you see the value of a muslim blood is worthless nothing the blood which is running in the veins of the muslims has no value the value is only in the blood of all other religions why why this intellectual hypocrisy why the western media is being playing these hypocrisy yesterday i was looking at the news they said that the pregnant woman was ripped off because of the bomb and the shells of shellings of these uh, russian armies and they are portraying every single woman what happening to her what about the women of iraq what about the little kids of syria what about the little kids of uh, libya what about the little kids of afghanistan pakistan what happened where where these people go they have no value our blood is nothing everything is you you have everything in the world all the prerogatives and pleasures you see this is what the newton's third law of motion to every action there is an opposite and equal reaction this is the punishment for the west the atrocities brutalities the injustices they did on other nations especially to the eastern bloc of the half of the world this is what happens this is not about muslims here do not blame us now the war on terrorism all the time you have only one sales point to sell your journalism now say we want to hear what you want to say about russia uh, yesterday i saw this the video of uh, vladimir putin he said it that why this whole thing happening he said he he warned these people that don't join nato ukrainian people don't join nato because moscow is near 5 minutes now you tell me how a person can you know tolerate this and let other nation the opposite nation to bring all those you know high kind of weapons near to the border and the capital is near to other nation how who will, who will bear that you tell me who allow this in their country so he this is what he has the values he has his points the positive points you see let me clear one thing i as a person as a muslim alhamdulillah we testified that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last and the final and he is the mercy for all of the mankind wa marsalna ka lakafatan lin nasi bashira wa nazira and another pillar says wa marsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin that muhammad is the rahmat mercy you see nobody has a right to uproot to kill innocent people nobody i am not in the favor what's happening in ukraine please mark my words what i am trying to say that everything has a counterpart counter reaction 
Why don't you see that this is all what is like the the harvesting, not harvesting. This is the sowing. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap of the Western people, especially the American. You see, they are living on the on the other side of the continent. You don't know what's happening on the right side. You see, this is happening slow. And so now, why I'm telling all this? I'm not making a blame games here. I'm telling you, this is the reason why this that's, this is the reason which media doesn't show you. You see, American me, America always do like this. You know, they always do like this. They control the media in their hands and then they try to make a hero. Who is ever the hero is the hero. Who is the evil is the evil. Muslims are being the victim of Western media for more than 40 years now. And what did we achieve? More people, more Christians, they converted into Islam. You know that? Reverted into Islam. Alhamdulillah. Because they sense that, that the lies are there. They lie against Islam. And Muslims, they are becoming Muslim, alhamdulillah. Now you see, Allah says in the Quran, and even it's in the Bible. You know, when Jews came to Jesus Christ and they said to him, that Father Ibrahim, Father Ibrahim, they taunt him, 